Otherwise expected a good bit of mid to low level cloud cover here in central and eastern Kentucky on this Friday. We're going to see more of that heading into the weekend as those clouds linger. And we'll see a few showers that looks like in the mix tomorrow and I think even more so during the day on Sunday heading into next week dry Monday. But then the rain chances return, but that will usher in once that front moves through another shot of fall like temperatures. You can see the clouds around. We're actually starting to see a few breaks here and there, but we've still got a few little specks of green here and there down toward Danville up toward Harrodsburg. Also uh, there in southern Jesmond County looks like uh, down around Camp Nelson. Just a stray shower here and there, and I think those will hang on until the sun begins to set here in a few hours. Organized storms uh, through the mountains to our east and the mid-Atlantic up into New England along that frontal boundary. You see a few breaks in the clouds, even though it's uh, mostly cloudy there in Richmond with our Bluegrass Pace Care Skyview HC Camera Network. 81, so despite the mainly cloudy skies and a bit of a north to northeast wind, most locations managed to sneak above the 80 degree mark, upper 70s and low 80s right now. Our dew points not too bad, low to mid 60s. Nothing we can't handle even this deep end summer into the early and mid part of September. There's your frontal boundary, a couple of ways of low pressure, kind of like uh, railroad cars along a train track, just riding along that boundary, which is going to put on the brakes off to our east. High pressure to the north, pushing in that uh, low level moisture, even though at the surface we're in pretty good shape as we head into the cool season. This is the setup that's very conducive to several days of just some pesky cloud cover. Low to mid 60s tomorrow morning, and then I think we'll do it all again with mainly cloudy skies, upper 70s, close to 80, and you see a few spots of green here and there. So anything you're doing outdoors, including uh, heading out to Kroger Field for Kentucky and EKU, if you're headed out for tailgating, should be in pretty good shape. Just take that rain gear along. I think we're gonna be mainly dry, but that isolated shower chance on the table. Now the one positive, of course, of uh, the cloud cover, that's going to hold our temperatures back into the upper 70s, so it'll feel pretty comfortable. Area of low pressure rides along the boundary, upper level support over eastern Kentucky, and as a result, that will keep the few shower chances in place Sunday. Monday looking better, and then this front increases our rain chances Tuesday. It ushers in some fall-like air and hopefully steers very powerful hurricane Lee out into the Atlantic and away from the east coast of the U.S. That's something to watch. You see some decent coverage on Tuesday and then on the backside as that front moves eastward, a few leftover showers. But check out temperatures here. We could be talking low 70s for highs and how about low 50s, maybe even a few upper 40s heading into Thursday morning. So there's that taste of fall, a repeat of it into next week. A few clouds pleasant tonight, low to mid 60s, 78 tomorrow under mostly cloudy skies with those isolated showers. Monday looking pretty good uh, with some sunshine and highs into the low 80s. And then once that front moves on through again, it is going to be a little bit unseasonably mild with afternoon highs later next week in the low to mid 70s.